You go to the recording studio with your flash drive, you give it to the engineer, the engineer formats the flash drive, you take it home, and you use a Windows machine like I do. You plug that in in the Windows world, here's what happens. You get this error. If you've been watching my videos for a while, I made a video on how to read Mac hard drive, flash drives, etc. in the Windows world. So we're looking at Trans Mac. We have this uh, scan this here. If we click it, files, I have my session that I got from that studio. All right, so now that we have our session, we can select the data, control A, right click, copy to, you know what? I'm gonna just create a folder, call it PT. I created a folder, call it PT Pro Tools, press OK, and it's copying the data. Now you probably noticed that I had to go into the folder, select everything, right click, copy to. It would have been nice if we had the copy to function at the root folder. All right, so we already know how to get data off of one of these drives, but what about if we wanted to add data to the drive? So I'm gonna right click, folder, and I'm gonna call this new tracks. We have our folder, new tracks. We can actually just add whatever we want to here. Copy here, and you know what? Let's go to my music, and I have this song here that I mix. Copy, and there you go. I could copy, I could delete, that's all great. But this next function is where this piece of software stands out the most, in my opinion. Now, like I mentioned, I do have a Mac here. I don't really use it, my son uses it, and out of nowhere, the system stopped working, it stopped booting, so we needed to reinstall everything. Luckily, before the machine crashed, I went to the store, downloaded the right version for that Mac because it's an older iMac. After downloading the software from the store, I created the DMG file. Now I have the capability of burning that or putting it on a flash drive. Now the problem with DMG files, you really can't burn them in the Windows world. You would need a third party application. If we right click, we have this option here, restore with disk image. So we're gonna select that, it's gonna be overwritten. Select yes, find that disk image. And now we press okay. Now I'm not gonna delete the stuff I have there. Once it's complete, go to your Mac and you can boot from it, which is great. Now you can also create the DMG images here. So if you wanted to, right click, save disk image, call it whatever you want. So I'm gonna call this one USB, save, and it's gonna start the process. So there you go, that's TransMac, what a great tool. So here's what I want you to do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It'd definitely help out. First time watching, press that subscribe button, press the bell for future notifications. I wanna thank you for watching this video. This is Ray and I'm out of here. Later, guys.